Chapter 7, Episode 9 Maybe something very different is true. So different that it is just about impossible for us to perceive it even when it is simple and obvious. Maybe because it is horrible but also it might be so beautiful that it's embarrassing we find it brilliantly funny. Silver Snake wasn't really thinking something like that, but Sally was, because she really liked both of the people in the kitchen. And she was a little excited about finally seeing the professor one on one. Silver Snake started preparing for the event. The two towers were now busy with expert engineers installing thermite and structural columns. Even in Building 7, he wanted everything down. There were other reasons to take Building 7 down, reason that went into the many billions and trillions of dollars. It was necessary to have a relatively small crew and have them all sign a document declaring the secrecy. It helped that few of them spoke English. That's the part I don't get. What don't you, don't you get, Sally? How the hell did they get a crew to rig the buildings for a perfect demolition without one of them coming forward and admitting it? That's a good question. Any answers? What are you talking about? The idea of my story is that the Twin Towers coming down was orchestrated by the owner, a controlled demolition. Otherwise, the buildings wouldn't fall properly, if at all. Threatened to murder the families. Or more, more likely, they were military, and many military operations are secret. Revealing military secrets will land you in prison for 35 years. Anything non-patriotic. And security surveillance. Billy had that answer. Turn it off, confiscate tapes, declare a military emergency and the military, FBI, CIA, NSA, and I don't know what all. They take everything away. Even from anyone who happens to be there on that day, or a hotel from across the street. We live in a military dis dictatorship, and they have ultimate power. Even if someone dares to contradict the official story, they will be called crazy, liars, conspiracy idiots. Whatever the known news propaganda media mindfuck sells, the media drunk moron class will accept the story as truth, even if it defies the most basics of physics. Well, most Americans believe in the Noah Ark story. That's what I said. I mean with the Ark. Sarah was frustrated with, frustrated with her story. She put her pencil down and sat on the sofa with Caprice and stared out the window over the city. Okay.